Hi everyone. So it's been a little bit since I've done a makeup video, but I'm going to do one today. And, um, sorry, excuse my hair. I have kind of silly curlers in. Um, I'm going to do a look that was suggested by somebody in the comments. And I really like this look. I don't know that I'm going to be able to pull it off in the way that, um, it was in the picture. But I'm going to do my very best. And I hope that you enjoy it. So it's a very glam, dramatic look. Um, and in it, I'm going to do a little bit of strobing to show you what that's all about, which is really just like highlighting. Um, so let me get started. Um, my face has been feeling a little dry, so I'm going to use my Ceramidin moisturizer to start. If you hear um, the sounds of tiny pitter-pattering feet, my... Uh, husband's family's dog is staying with us and she's adorable right Gigi but she won't let me pick her up or I would I would introduce you will you let me pick you up come here no she's adorable she's a little miniature poodle so hopefully she won't bark during this video and if she does I'm sorry but she's too cute All right. so I've been using this birch box 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 that's a lot of times of saying box as a place for me to transport brushes <laughs> which is kind of funny all right I'm gonna start with some concealer just to brighten up my face up in these little greenish areas On my forehead. That looks hot, doesn't it? And I'm just going to take this little brush. Somebody asked me to link where I got these brushes from, the ones I used in my last video, and I haven't done that, and the reason is, I don't know how high quality they are. I mean, the brush part is fine. This is the brand, Tau, Tail, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's nothing I've ever heard of. The brushes themselves are fine, but they come off, the brushes, the handle. So I'm not super into endorsing them right now, but I don't know, we'll see. I will link it at some point if you want to try them, but I'm not like saying that I highly, highly recommend them. It's just that they were an Amazon deal and I can always use more brushes. So I'm just gently kind of painting this into my face, kind of buff away the lines of concealer. And then I'm going to just take um, a little sponge and just finish. I'm just dabbing over where the concealer is to completely blend that in. I look better already. Um, so I got this little sample from Benefit of this um, bomb to reduce pores. I don't know. We'll just try it. Why not? I don't know. Oh, it's very, very soft. It's probably more of a primer, but I'm just going to put it on in lieu of like a liquid foundation. It smells really nice. Hmm. I've been having a lot of pores that need extracting around my nose. Um, let's hide them. Okay, I'm not quite sure if I need that, but I like it. 
Next up, I'm going to take my Bare Essentials Powder Foundation with this brush, which I actually really do like this brush for foundation. You can find brushes like this at Sephora or Ulta, but the flap, it's, it's really like nice because you can really buff it in. So I'm just kind of moving around, buffing in that foundation. Giving myself a nice smooth face. That's good. All right, next I'm gonna take my Sephora face palette with this little bronzer color. And this is something I've been doing a lot lately. I'm just kind of brushing up the brush I used to use for powder foundation in these bronzer colors. And I've been liking this because it's a little softer and so it doesn't quite get the harsh contour line, which sometimes I like, but I've been doing it this way and I kind of like it. So I'm just using it to kind of bronze up the edge of my face and a little bit of my contour line. And what that's gonna do is just give me like a nice, a nice glow, sun-kissed glow. on the sides of my nose. Okay. And then I'm going to where did I put that? Take my blush brush, take a combination of these colors like I do very often. And give myself a substantial amount of color that kind of blends into that bronzy color. Okay. Good. All right, and now for some strobing. I'm going to start with this um, What's Up by Benefit. I'm seeing a lot of Benefit today. And you're going to kind of want to like find that like C shape that your eye socket makes and kind of bring this around there. So it's right where like the bone is here. And then I like to just kind of go in this area in a little triangle. And then I'm just going to take my finger and blend that in. Blend, 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 blend. It's very, very light in this video, but it's there. Blend, 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 blend. I'm going to go down my nose. Up a little into this, to my forehead. Cupid's bow. Chin. All the places that would normally catch the light. I'm even going to do a little bit above and below my eyebrows. Okay. Then I'm going to take this brush, which is from that collection I got, and this Wet n Wild um, Sunset Junction, <laughs> and the highlighter, which I've used before, and I found it to be very, very highlighting. But if you're going for the strobing effect, you want it to be very highlighted. It's kind of like an ultra highlight. So I'm just kind of going over what I did with the Benefit, 
just to really emphasize it. Okay, so I look very highlighted. So I don't know if that's like correct strobing, but it's what I've been doing and I like the effect, so it works for me. All right, next I'm gonna take my eyeshadow primer and a little Urban Decay, so trusty. I thought the dog might be on the couch behind me, but she's on the floor. Okay. Now, hmm, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to start this. I haven't actually done this look before. So, we're in this together. I'm going to take this um, soft fluffy brush from Sephora and this Nicker K palette I got in my last um, Ipsy bag and I'm going to take this darkest color here and kind of mix it with the lighter color and then I'm going to put this, this is a very pretty color, I'm going to put this in a circle, semicircle, because I'm going to, this is like a roundish with the eyes instead of kind of this way. And I'm putting this here because I want a nice transition color. Leave that out. Now I'm going to take This foil infused brush and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this well yes I can this is an old palette that I've had for a long time and it's an Ulta palette but what I like about it is it, I've used this before but it has these cream shadows and I'm gonna use the black cream shadow with the foil infused brush and I'm gonna pat this on to my lid and the reason I'm using this brush instead of like a finger or anything like that is because this brush is going to give me a nice rounded shape and help me to control this. And I'm just going to go up and meet that pretty brown color. I have Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance With Somebody in my head. <laughs> I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. So sad about what happened to Bobby Christina. So, so sad. Okay. Um, good for that. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Black Zero and with the other side of this foil infused brush. I'm going to go along the bottom of the lid and just kind of set this. to be like as black as possible. I'm also trying not to get fallout on my beautiful highlighted face. Okay. I'll keep that up. 
Next, I'm going to take this color called Disco and Puppy brush. Again, see, I'm using these brushes and this one actually hasn't broken. So this one is, all right, this is called Disco. It's by Bare Minerals. It's like a, it looks like dust, <laughs> but it's like a silvery. And I'm just going to use this. to blend between the black and the brown because I don't really want there to be significant brown. I want it to look more like silvery. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this look on me. It might be a little dark for my face, but I like trying new things. And if anything, I'm getting out of it that I really like the way that the silver looks over this brown. Okay. So, there you, there you go. Okay. Mm. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to kind of wipe it out. I'm going to use the same brush with this um, lightest color in this Nika K palette. And I'm going to blend that brown away into my brow line. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild palette that I've made a video with once because I love this light color. It's really, really bold. I'm just going to put it in the very, very top of my brow line to highlight like a good, a good bright highlight. I'm going to my in-laws today and they're just going to be looking at me like, what the heck? <laughs> Why do you look like that? But that's okay. Um, I can use this as a highlighter too. Let's see. I think I'm going to take my Urban Decay Uh, cream liner and because I don't need it to be precise I'm just going to use this brush that comes with it and I'm just going to run this across my lash line to make sure it's really really dark at the lash line and just below the lash line almost all the way across. And again, I'm not going to make like a wing or anything. I'm just going to make a thick line. She's so cute. Um, okay. Then I'm going to take my little smudge liner. My Urban Decay palette again. Just black. And I'm just going to set it again so that it stays very nicely. Smudge it out. Smoke it up so that you can't really tell where the line is. Again, 
almost all the way over. And then back to this little brush and back to my little highlighting color. I'm going to use the other end of my foil infused brush, which is this little small guy in this white color, to do my inner corner and then just below. kind of just brighten that up in the inside. All right. Yeah, it's coming together. I like it. Okay. I'm going to take my Perversion by Urban Decay and blacken up my water lines because I, I believe this look does call for that. wearing a new type of contact lens that's supposed to be moister. Ugh, I hate that word. So hopefully my eyes will behave. Okay. Next, I'm going to... Hmm... I'm looking to see if I'm going to put on false lashes, and I think I am. You can't have a look like this and not have false lashes, right? I'm just using my butterfly mascara to hopefully get my lashes full and across the bottoms. So I'm going to use these Sephora lashes that my dear friend gave to me. Um, they're very cool looking. I don't know what they're going to look like on. They might be too much, but... Okay, squeeze up a little of my duo. And run this along the edge. I put these on the right way. <laughs> Sometimes I don't pay attention and then they're not on the right way. Okay. pretty good actually. I did it I did it in one foul swoop. That's very, very intense. Probably more so than it needs to be. But go big or go home, right? I'm running this along on my other lash.
that one went on even easier. All right, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do my brows. And obviously I'm gonna need kind of a good brow for this. So I'm gonna start in the ends, give myself a nice arch. And then when I get in the inside, I'm gonna go straight up because that's the direction the hairs go. Straight up. There you go. Take the other end of this and gently brush so that they're like all standing up. And then I am going to pull this back down into a nice line, neaten up the top, and kind of leave there standing up. I'm going to go a little bushy today. You can't have weak brows if you have eyes like this. Okay, lip liner. So we're going to keep it pretty light today for the lips. I'm going to be using the Chanel lip liner and Tulip. And I'm using this more to cover the whole lip. That was my dryer. If you could hear that, I don't know if you could. And then in with the Chanel lipstick. It's a little messed up, but I'm just going to apply it like this. And finally, I'm going to take just this little, this is Beauty Rush by Victoria's Secret. It's just a pretty gloss that I like. I'm going to apply it with a brush so that I can concentrate it in the middle of my lips. And then I'm going to kind of get the Cupid's bow. So now it's time to see what's going on with my hair. Oh, I really like these eyelashes actually. They're very, very dramatic, but they're cool. Come here. There she is. Is she not the cutest thing ever? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Put you down now. She doesn't really like to be held. So the idea of these curlers was just to kind of make loose waves, and it looks like that's kind of what I have done. Uh oh, I did that one wrong. I've been watching all, a bunch of videos with people doing heatless curls. That's really big right now and I don't mind doing heat on my hair but 
in the summer. Who wants to do that? So this looks like it's it worked pretty good. Well. It's still a little damp, but that's actually okay because it while it dries it'll kind of I'll kind of become a little wild. I've been really liking my hair being a little on the wild side in the summer because then I don't have to worry if it gets a little frizzy. Because it just looks free flowing. I should probably close my eyelash group. That's all of them. Well, my bangs are interesting, but let's see what the rest of it looks like. Okay, well, I'll fix my bangs, but the rest of it looks pretty good, right? Okay, well, I hope that you like this. Um, I really do. I think that I will wear this look maybe to my sister's wedding although I did just get my dress for that and it's kind of like purpley so maybe I'll incorporate some purple but um, this is a good look maybe I won't scare my in-laws too badly after all and Gigi says goodbye and I say see you next time bye